All right, gonna go ahead and do a quick channel update and then we're gonna start working on my new building here. That's part of the, uh, the channel update. So I got this shed here, be uh, working on that. So I'll be able to test out equipment and do some recording, put solar on it. You know, got a lot of stuff going on with that. I'm gonna insulate it, put electrical in, put a mini split on it, put a, a off grid uh, solar system on it. So this thing's gonna be completely off grid from my house and all my other systems and be running itself. And hopefully at some point I'll be able to charge my car off of this system as well as run the mini split and everything else that's got going on with it. That's one of the things I'll be working on in this, in this video is when you get in there and start on the insulation and putting the wall panel in and all that kind of stuff. And I want to quickly talk about a, a veteran owned company that, you know, I'm trying to help them out. It's a work life coffee. You know, they sent me out this coffee just to try out. They didn't pay me or anything like that. There's a veteran owned company from Texas and they said, Hey, you want to try this coffee? You know, they're trying to get their, uh, their business up a little bit. So I said, I'll try the coffee out. And if I like it, I'll definitely tell my audience about it. This coffee is good. How do you know it's good? Because the bag is already empty. All the thing that's left in it is the scoop. I took this thing to work, let people try it out. This is their night shift uh, coffee version. They got a couple of different versions of their coffee. It's the dark roast, but this stuff is not bitter. This stuff is good. It's a premium coffee. You could definitely tell that. And people at work, it took them no time. This stuff was gone and it wasn't out there all the time. You know, I keep it in my bag. So I'd put it out and make a, make a pot and then somebody else would make another pot while it was still sitting out there. So definitely people definitely like this. So if you're interested in this and help it out a veteran owned company, I'll leave a link down in the description. The Night Shift Coffee by Work Life Coffee. Hey, go ahead and check them out. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the building and start working on this thing, getting this thing insulated. So I can use it as a studio and a workshop to test out new equipment that companies want to send me out. And basically this thing is just a 10 by 20 uh, shed, barn style, as you can see. The top goes up quite a bit and it is pretty dark in here and the sound is probably going to be terrible. I have a fan running over here because it's hot in here. So I don't have any electrical or insulation or anything in this thing so far. As you can see, I got the insulation down here on the ground. I'm going to start putting in some barn style. So we got some storage room on the top, some storage room on that side as well. Got a couple of windows and start the insulation on this thing. Get that mini split installed and I'll probably temporarily run it on my my Calpha Solar little temporary setup I got over here until I get my main setup on the building. But I'm not gonna do any of that until I get the air on this thing. My goal is to get enough insulation in where that mini split's gonna go and some wall paneling or boards or whatever I'm gonna do. So I get that mini split in and get this thing cooled off. So let's go ahead and get started. And you might be wondering how my power in the fan when there's no power out here yet. Basically, uh, Signature Solar is selling Anchor products now, and I got the Anchor Solar, uh, the 1500. So I just got that plugged in right now, you know. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave this thing linked up down in the description below. I got a panel hooked up to it, got 254 volts coming in, 80 watts coming out with the fan, and maybe I'm charging some stuff. So this unit, I've been using it for a week or two, and this thing is, is pretty good, pretty cool, especially for the price. So if you're interested in this thing, hey, I'll leave it linked up down in the description. All right, hopefully you can hear me over this fan. All right, let's turn the fan off for a second. Basically, you got a stapler, some staples, some insulation. Break open the insulation and start uh, measuring it and cutting it. Because, of course, these walls aren't going to be, you know, eight foot. I think these are only like maybe six and a half foot or something like that, seven foot or something like that to up here. This ain't a how-to, this is just what I'm doing. Put some insulation up, start with a wall panel, and then I'll start uh, going to the mini split install. So I get some air in here, and then finish off the building insulation. As you can see, it's way above 80. So it's hot in here. And I just got the fan basically blowing hot air out of the building. We got the other window open, so maybe some fresh air will come in. So that's what we got going on. And there's already a fly in here. Come on, man. Bam. And as you can see, this insulation is made for a standard wall. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut this thing down. What we're gonna need cut one, 75 and an eight. Go ahead and get you over here so you can see here. Basically, I just went on ahead and stuck this in here. We'll take the stapler, start stapling it in. Should take but a few, keep this thing in there. Bam. 
not perfect, but the next one I'll probably cut 76 inches. Seems like I have, that's a very small gap. So cut the next one that's a little bit longer. And my little leftover piece here, I'll still be able to use it. I'll use them up in the ceiling or wherever I got to. We're gonna use them all. Continue on putting the rest in at the end of the wall down here. Then put a panel on and try to start doing the mini split. And just like that, it's cool in here. So a couple more updates with the channel. We got that Anchor Solix. Uh, 1500 i'll be doing a full review on that thing i've been using that of course i got this mini split installation i'm gonna have that video coming out tomorrow you know whenever you see this video the next day the mini split installation should be coming out and of course i got more stuff to do over there my parents got to finish all that stuff up putting the optimizers on and all that kind of stuff haven't got all that completed yet but their system has been doing pretty good just the way it is right now i gotta up, do an update video on that as well you might be saying, how are you starting all these different projects and you ain't finished these other ones? Hey, I just have a lot of projects. I got to do them what I can. And this shed project's got to have some kind of priority because I'm going to use this to help me make more videos because I have space to do it and space to do the testing. That's just something I've needed for a while. And I got to get on it and get it done. So if you want to see the mini split installation, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And thanks for watching.